Now the first thing we are going to do right here is to select this option right here which allows us to add a music to our video, alright? And right here you can search in a huge music library or few more. But for me right here, I will go to import from my own audios. Right there you go. And now I have the audio down in my timeline. But as you listen very carefully, you find out that the video clips are not changing on beat. Now, if your audio is selected right here in the timeline, make sure that you select this option right here, which is the beats. Now, there are different methods right here that you can use to mark all right, the changes in your audio. All right? For example, right here, you can mark it by the beat, by the melody, the drums, and the pick. All right? So, for this very example right here, let's start it by marking by the melody for this particular song here. Now, as you can see here, according to this kind of a song that I have put in Fumora, the melody method of marking beats is not really working right here. So if I try other options and they are not working for me, I can add the beats manually. Alright, so let me show you how you do that. Just go right to the beginning of your song and let the song play right here. And when the beat that you want arrives, then you can select this option right here to add the beat. Alright? And that's actually manual way of adding beats, which is also great. So when you move like this, you can either delete a bit or even add another bit, alright? Once you are satisfied, confirm. Now right here, if you look very carefully down into your audio, you find out those are little peaks, little markers, which are actually the beat markers. So which means my video clips are supposed to cut on these little tiny things that are showing up right in the audios. So now the main mission is to adjust the video clips to make sure that they align with those beats.